Hey there guys, welcome back to Carblades Vaping. Today we, uh, we've got a hardware review for you and it's this little fella. This is the all-in-one by Totally Wicked, which in other words it's the all-in-one by Joytech, which as we all know that Totally Wicked is part of Joytech. So it's basically the same device, just rebranded as Totally Wicked. On the front you've got a picture of the all-in-one Totally Wicked's trademark. Some bits and pieces on the box. Some more bits and pieces on the box. AIO. And at the back is a basic brief description of what you get and what you should and should not do. So, it's out. There is the device itself. This is a uh, stainless steel version, if I can get the damn thing out. Pop this to one side, open the box, and you get a rather generous user's manual. In this tells you how to use it, how to charge it, how to refill it, replacing the coils, etc. Have a small box, boxy thing, which has is your uh, USB charger, a spare clear drip tip, and you also have a spare coil in there. I have to find it. There we go. Spare coil. These are exactly the same coils that the Cubis tank uses because it's the uh, BF range of coils, which is what most Joytech items actually use these days. So we'll put this all away and we'll have a look at the device. And here it is. This is the only one by Totally Wicked, also Joytech. You can see you got a little light. It's five click on, five click off. It is a locked battery, i.e. it's not variable wattage, it's not variable voltage. It's your USB port. You have a uh, venting hole for your battery. There's your drip tip, and there is your e-liquid window, just there. Press that. Yeah, man. Is it going? There we go. The device actually lights up when it's in use. It also flashes intermittently when your battery is at half charge. It also glows red when your battery is almost out of charge and also when it's charging. The drip tip is replaceable, just pull that off like so, give it a rinse and then just pop it back on. At the top you have a little notch just there and then you have another notch where is it? just on the side, just about where my finger is, which is the variable airflow. Pop it like so, and it is fully open. Twist it 90 degrees, and it's fully closed. So, pretty simple airflow control. To fill it, it has, has a child-proof cap, so you can twist and twist and twist, and you won't get anything into it. So you push it down, and then twist. And out comes the coil. Which is actually connected to the top half of the tank. The tank is a 2mm tank, so it is TPD compliant. What you'll find with this tank is it is exactly identical in layout to the, uh, the Cubis tank. Where, if I can just close that. Are you going to close for me? Come on. There we go. You have a maximum fill line. Come on. Just there. Is the camera going to focus in? There we go. Let me tweet it out. You have a maximum fill line just there. So when you fill your liquid, you don't really want to be going 
are both halfway because when the coil is placed into it it then displaces the e-liquid so if you fill it above that line when you go to put your coil back in you'll end up with e-liquid pouring out the top so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to fill this this is a 15 to 28 watt SS316 it's a 0 0.6 ohm coil so with the only one you have no issues of burning your coil unless you get a dry hit and the only going to get a dry hit is if you let it run out put some e-liquid in it this is totally wicked vanilla which I found to be completely crap but there we go That's the e-liquid as it is now. Can't really see, but screw the lid on, then push it down and tighten it, and there we go. The lid is closed. Put the e-liquid in. Your little funky light. So, what we'll do is we'll go up to the face cam and we shall see how this little thing performs. Hello. Joytech. Totally wicked, all in one. Fill it up. Can't really see the light on this camera, but there is one in there. There we go. So I'm in a bit of trouble. I think the battery's going a bit, a bit low actually. So this, like I say, this is a locked wattage device. No variable wattage or voltage on this. It is a uh, basic mouth to lung starter kit. It's ideal. It's small. It's lightweight. You can fit it in your top pocket. You can pop it in your pocket. However, if you put this in your pocket, five clicks to turn it off because this doesn't have an auto cut off. So if you put it in your pocket and don't turn it off, and you happen to press the power button, the fire button. Yeah, either your pocket's going to start filling with heat liquid with vapor, and the battery itself is going to get extremely warm because it's on constant use. So just bear in mind that when putting it in storage or popping it in your trouser pocket or anything like that, just five clicks just to turn it off. So the only downside I can find with this is it doesn't have an auto cut out. So what we'll do, we have got the airflow control fully open nice filled with e-liquid we'll give it a few puffs Let's see how it goes it does really well bearing in mind if you are a new vapor and you've just come off the cigarettes a higher nicotine content combined with this will be perfect because you're going to get that replicated throat hit from a cigarette however me using 3 milligram e-liquid it's really you don't get the throat hit but it's a nice little device to carry with you you know if you don't want to be carrying around something like this I mean in size comparison I mean <laughs> look at it it's tiny let's compare it to the UD Balrog for instance there's a Balrog There we go. See? Steady on. It is really compact and you, you barely know it's there. So we'll keep on having a rip and uh, we'll see what we can get out of this. I'm not exactly a mouth to lung user now, so it's going to be tricky. See what, see what vapor we can get from this. Okay. It's adequate. It's a brilliant little device I have. I don't think, I really don't think you could die at wrong with this. Although, uh, let's give it a go. 
Oh, that sun's coming out. Hello. You can, but it's a very restrictive draw. No. I mean, you could. <laughs> you could dial them with this, but I really wouldn't try it because if you're really you're going to start really pulling on this, you're going to end up swallowing half the e-liquid in this. Could even doing that then, I can feel bits of the e-liquid coming through the coil. But as a mouth to lung tank, it does a surprisingly good job. It just does well. It does exactly what it wants. No, not exactly what it wants. It does exactly what it needs. It's a mouth to lung tank. It's a starter kit. And it's perfect for new vapors or it's, even if you're still on high nicotine and you're just going out and you don't want to carry a big luggy mod with you just take this with you it's perfect it's ideal for carrying around as long as you turn it off you get good flavor from it i mean i've put a uh, 70 vg e-liquid in this and it it works perfectly well i mean all right if you keep on going at it it does dry out pretty quickly. I mean, you're talking to like six or seven pulls, and you are beginning to get the initial effects of a dry hit. But apart from that, if you're just giving it mouth to lung, it's perfect. Right then. Even though it's got e-liquid in it, if you keep pulling too much on it, you start to get a dry hit because the coils have trouble keeping up with the wicking. So give it a few pulls, leave it, give it a chance to wick, and then off you go again. You can't chain vape on this. It's just not possible in my opinion. Because you keep on doing it, you are going to get a dry hit. And that's one thing you don't want, is a dry hit. The coils are perfectly suited for the wattage that's in this. So, apart from the fact that it doesn't have an automatic timeout, and that if you continue vaping it for too long a time you are going to get the start off of a dry hit because the coils have trouble wicking I mean the juice holes on the coil are actually underneath the coil the coil sits right at the bottom of the tank and there are only small juice holes so if you keep pulling and pulling and pulling the cotton is going to dry out and you are going to get a dry hit that's the only two downsides I can see with this tank. Well, the setup in general. But apart from that, it works perfectly well. Out oh, the hell. <laughs> Taking it out and about, if you're going for a walk, if you're going into town, or you're going out for the day, it does really well. It doesn't go through that much e-liquid either. And it's not like your, your generous sub ohm tanks, so it's crazy wattages, so that you can vape them for an hour and they're almost empty. This holds its juice rather well. There's no leaking issues either with it that I can find that I've stood it on its side for practically nearly all day. And there's no sign of it leaking. So yeah, it's child proof. It's leak free. It's a two mil tank. It's TPD compliant. Two mil tank. And unfortunately, you can't get bigger tanks for these. You just can't. Which, uh, yeah, which is unfortunate. But for what it is, it's a great little all-rounder. I quite like it. I used it on and off for a week. To and from work, going out to the local vape shop. It, it did me quite well. I just preferred it with the, the air intakes fully open. Yeah. Keep pulling and you do get a dry hit. That's the only thing that's really wrong with these coils. It's the same thing that happens in the Cubis tank. You keep vaping and vaping and vaping. They have, they really do struggle to continue wicking because the air, the air holes and the wicking holes are that small. But apart from that, it's a nice little, nice little bit of kit. 
It's cheap, totally wicked, are uh, selling this for $24.99, which for an all-in-one starter kit, for 25 quid. Plus the deal that I had when I was there. You pick up this and you get two free e-liquids. Two of the red label, two of these. Which I got uh, with vanilla. And I got a watermelon, which was rather nice. Uh, too nice, actually, as I don't have any more. But, all in all, yeah, it's alright. It does what it's made to do. It's ideal for new starters. Or it's ideal for, you know, the traditional, as I would say, not seasoned vapour, but the general vapour out there that just wants something just easy to take around with them, to take out to the shops and back and just out and about. It's a lovely little device. And now it's uh, now it's wicked. Apart from that, it's a nice little kit. <coughs> so, if you fancy purchasing one of these, I mean, they are available in store. It's totally wicked. Your your local store, They're also available online. Great little price. I mean, twenty five quid for an all in one starter kit. You can't really go wrong for that kind of money. And you get two or three e liquids. Mm, two or three e liquids as well. <laughs> really must put my teeth in in the morning. But yeah, from me, that's a rather quick review of uh, the Totally Wicked All in One kit, or the, the Joytech All in One. So, from me and this uh, quick little review, take care, vape safe. And I'll see you soon.